what's up guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to dive into when to change your offer all right now this is a very important this is very important especially being a health and fitness professional uh, coach or trainer to understand this because it's easier to get caught up in your own stuff and let it drag out for too long and not get any results all right so i'm going to dive into this a little bit but before we dive in i would love it if you can like subscribe comment share show some love because the more love you show me the more love i can show back all right, so when to change your offer. Now keep this in mind, guys. When I mean by when to change your offer, this doesn't mean that you're gonna be changing your offer all the time or immediately right away because you saw this video, especially if you just started something, okay? That's not what I mean by this. What I mean by this is if you've been doing something for way too long, right? And you're not getting any results at all, right? We have to look at what your offer is, all right? Now keep in mind, the offers could be, what are the deliverables in your offer? Right? It could be the deliverables, can be the features involved, can be what you're actually uh, providing as the solution. We have to see what it is, right? That's number one, we have to see what it is. And then number two, you have to ask yourself too, honestly, is, is this even an offer that you're doing that makes sense for you, right? In the sense of, does it make sense in, in it's something that you wanna give out to other people or is this more you're doing it because you just thought it can make a lot of money? Right, because a lot of people get caught into that trap of like, well, I'm gonna do this offer because it can make a lot of money. It's not gonna work. You have to do something you wanna do and do something that you enjoy, right? The money will come. So those are two things just to keep in mind of when to change your offer. So does it mean, again, does it mean that you just started a program, I'm gonna change my offer right away from watching this video? No, it's if you've been dragging yourself for way too long and you just need help to figure out when it is you need to change your offer. Here are the solutions of when you have to do that, okay? And, and the solutions of, of what's going to help you when changing that offer. So number one, you have to ask your audience, all right? So what you can simply do is you can go into your Instagram, your Facebook, your TikToks, uh, your YouTube, your LinkedIn, and you can literally ask your audience, what do they want in your specific niche, right? So if you're a health and fitness coach and that's what you're doing, well, ask your audience what it is in that space that they want from you, all right? You can be simply, maybe your offer, Maybe your offer um, is literally all nutrition based and maybe your audience is asking for fitness workouts, right? Because maybe they did see you do some fitness stuff and maybe you're not offering fitness workouts, but they want fitness and workouts and you are a trainer and you do that, right? So listen to your audience. Maybe you're giving them the wrong offer, right? Maybe your audience doesn't want that, right? So maybe that's paying attention, right? That's not paying attention. What does my audience want? By just simply asking questions, right? Maybe you can literally ask, hey, I'm creating a program. I'm creating something for you guys. I'm working on a project. What would you like to see? What would you like to have? What would you like to be given? Ask those questions, right? Do you want workouts and nutrition? Do you want workouts only? Do you want nutrition only? Do you want workouts mindset? Workouts mindset and nutrition? Make a poll, ask questions. Your audience will tell you the answers, right? And that right there is gonna help you create that offer because now if you have a demand of people that you ask questions to on your social media account, that's going to help you put more money into your pockets and serve the right people and serve them with what they really want to be served with. Not just playing a guessing game of like, man, I don't, I'm just going to put something out here. I don't know what works. I don't know what offer um, is really what people want. I don't know what the real solution is. No, ask your audience and they will tell you what they want. All right. So that's number one. Number two, change one thing at a time. Right, many times I see people when they say change your offer, they go crazy and change everything. Doesn't mean change everything, right? Look at what you have, see what's working already, see what's not working, right? And again, getting the feedback from your audience is gonna help with that. So it literally means just change one thing in your offer, right? Change one thing, or it could be adding one thing, right? It could be maybe you remove something, you added something in your offer, that could be different. Maybe that could be something else you can ask people. Hey, from what I'm currently doing right now, what would you like to see? What would you like not to see? Right? You can ask those questions to your audience and they'll tell you what they would like for you, not, what, they, what they don't like and what they do, what they would like if you added it. All right, so change one thing at a time, just change one, all right? Don't change the whole offer, you could change one thing, right? In certain cases, you might have to change the whole offer, right? If, it has, if it's completely left field and has nothing to do with what the audience wants, then yes. But if you have something that is doing okay, just change one thing and see if that works. Number three, get feedback. Feedback, feedback, feedback. And I'm gonna hear from feedback. I'm not talking about your audience feedback, I'm talking about your client feedback. So from the clients that you do have, 
ask them, how can I make my offer better? What do you like from my offer? What don't you like from my offer? What would you change from my offer? What wouldn't you change from my offer? What would you guys like to see in the future? What would you guys want in the future? Because now you're asking them, they're, they're telling you, and then guess what? That client becomes a client again because you're figuring out what's the next thing they want. So feedback from your client is huge. Asking your clients, what don't they want? What do they want, right? That's gonna help you take things to the next level. Number four, does it serve your market? Does your offer serve your market? So asking yourself, what you're providing, does it really serve my market? And that goes ties in with all this stuff from up here, right? Getting the feedback from your clients, getting uh, asking questions to your audience through polls, right? Because if you're just going out there and you're just throwing out something out there, you don't even know if it serves your market, then you might be hitting a market that's not for you with the wrong offer. So take a step back and ask yourself, does this serve my market? Am I what I'm offering it serves my market? Because if you get all this feedback from the questions you ask your, your, your clients and your audience feedback, right, in the polls, now you can be like, oh my God, what I'm offering doesn't serve my, my, my market. A market out here. Okay, I gotta tweak my, my offer or I gotta change my offer. That's where you make the decision. And then lastly, number five, don't get high on your own supply. I've seen so many coaches do this where they get high on their own offer, high on their own product, where it's like their ego gets in the way and it's just like, no, but it's the best thing out there. And if people want it, they'll get it. And you'll see, it. you'll see. It. But guys, I'm not saying don't be confident and don't value what you do 100%. Be confident and stand your ground in what you believe and what you offer. But if you're offering to the wrong market, it ain't gonna sell. Doesn't matter how great your freaking program is. It's not gonna sell because the right people are not there. So listen to your audience or you're gonna have to change your market. You have to go after another market, right? You're gonna have to change your target audience. But if not, the target audience you have and the people you have already, you have to listen, listen to what they want so you can make the right changes you need to then help them, provide them the solutions. But don't get high in your own supply. Don't get high in your own supply, right? Make sure that you're open to getting feedback from your clients, your audience, from other people on what you're doing and make sure that you also understand what the audience in your space wants, what the market is asking for. And you can be able to provide the solution to those people's problems. Now guys, if you got value out of this video, I would love it if you dropped a like, comment, share, subscribe. Because the more love you show me, the more love I can show back. And right here, you can start creating more impactful offers or change the offer you have or tweak the offer you have currently so you can go make a more effective one that's gonna be able to provide the solutions to those people's problems. Till next time.